Ladies and gentlemen, this is definitely one of the hottest games of the year 2014. Actually, to get this game in stores, you would have to sell a kidney to get it. In fact, I had to sell my three kidneys in order to get it. And that really was worth it. I mean, this is Arctic Truck Simulator. And I'm very, very happy that I got my hands on it. Let's jump into it. So the first thing you see when opening up the game is a nice welcoming message by the developers, which is very nice considering that people had to sell organs in order to play the game. But hey, we are here now. We are not really intact anymore when it comes to, you know, body parts. But still, we got the game. So everything is well worth it. It says, welcome to Australian road train. So, great. Try to master all missions successfully without having accidents or sustaining damage. Check out the route before starting and plan it to be as short as possible to minimize costs. So economical thinking right there. Very good teaching the kids out there the economical ways of thinking. You may have to refuel depending on how long you need to drive. So they also teach how to think smart and think in advance before actually doing stupid things. Great. Just amazing. Avoid having accidents and colliding with buildings, trees and signs. So they actually are playing the guardian angel for you by telling you that you actually are in danger of dying. Of stupidity. Because that's like in real life, you could die if you drive into stuff. Don't do it. Have fun. Great. So, you are in the depot. Press F2 and set up the road train. Current balance, zero. So we're broke. We are, we're bro It shows the file extensions. As we can see, a lot of budget went into the making of the game. Amazing, amazing. So now we're gonna start the mission because that is what it's all about. Is it not? Yes, it is. I don't... Yes. Give me a next song, I can... Close it. All right, how do I, can I... No, don't, don't you. I got everything under my control, so don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. <clears throat> it is great times we're living in right now, folks. I mean, this is just next generation graphics right here. Xbox One, what is that? PlayStation 4, what is that? The new console that Nintendo's working on, but really shouldn't because they fucked up the last console and there are no games for it too. What is that even? I don't know. Those graphics are just state of the art and even beyond that they are that awesome just look at the textures of this i'm gonna just you know dive into the textures and just eat it up with my mouth what whoa what the f what the f don't block ah! ah it's so bright whoa oh oh what is that what is going all right or I got everything under my I'm in the ground. I'm I'm above the I'm floating. I'm in, I'm in the ground again Yeah, watch out everyone. We have a situation over here. We have a situation over here. Oh my god It's a code red everybody get behind cover. I cannot guarantee for your safety. We got a situation over here. Oh my god I can honk I can I can honk that's just... Yes! No! T please tow my truck! Please tow my truck! Please tow my fucking... I'M ON THE TRUCK! OH MY GOD! Oh, yeah. Mm, I'm inside of it. Mm, yeah. Mm, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, please tow my truck. Oh, great. I'm so glad that- Oh no! What? What the f- Alright! I'm- What? Now what's really great about those controls is that it doesn't show you how to accelerate the vehicle. I lost a thousand bucks for the truck tone. And do you see the reflections in the mirror? I mean, that's just the exact, you know, reflection of the world behind me, which is great. I mean, there's snow on the ground, in the reflection, there is not. In the reflection, there's clouds in the sky. In reality, there isn't. Great. Just amazing. I can see where the budget went into. Definitely the reflections in the mirrors. Definitely. So now it seems like we lost our truck, which is bringing me close to a panic attack, as that is the 
vehicle that we use to get our income in every month to feed our family and we're already 1000 euros in the negative which is totally bad i am really on the brink of getting a heart attack right now it sucks losing what you make your money with but now we're free to move around and as you can see it's lagging a little bit but that has to do with the fact that the newest version of the cry engine 3 was used in this game as you can see on those nice lamp textures right here. I mean, look at that. The anti-aliasing back here is doing wonders. You can see there's just no sharp edges at all. And the shadow, wow, just so fluid, just so fluid. Also, this little shack over here, it's just such an amazing little thing. Oh, there, what is that shadow? What is that? We have another situation over here. Code, code blue. We have a code blue over here. We have a code blue. Please help us out over here. Oh, Billy. God, God, we lost Billy. We lost, I'm in the ground. I'm below the map. I am now below the map. So now that we explore the depths of the map, what can we actually see here? Yeah, a lot of trees and a nice little shack over there, which we are now going to check out. It seems like we cannot check out the shack as we cannot adjust what we see at all in any way possible. This is the closest that we're gonna take a look at the shack. I mean, it looks beautiful from over here, but I would really like to just walk into it and, I don't know, cook a little bit of tea or something, sit down, enjoy the weather outside, enjoy living in the wilderness. But unfortunately, we cannot do that because the game restricts us of doing so. Hello? Hello. Now it seems like the developers of this game give you the option to play it the proper way using nice peripheral devices such as this awesome looking steering wheel which is in itself already an awesome looking piece of craftsmanship. I mean look at it. It's got like this big yellow button in the middle which you can use to honk or something and it's got like more buttons than any conventional controller that you could actually connect to your PC in order to play with it and it's got a D-pad and some other shit which is just great. Now it says controller not detected. That has to do with the fact that the game is not being shipped with this peripheral device in order to play the game properly and to be able to drive the truck which is what the game is all about. You have to buy this thing separately in order to play the game the way it's meant to be played. Nvidia. Unfortunately, I already sold my three kidneys in order to afford the actual game, so no money for me to buy this awesome piece of hardware. Which brings us back to the awesome looking world of Arctic Truck Simulator. I mean, this is just amazing. Look at all this. Look at all this. That's just so amazing. I mean, look at all this. It's, like, it's got like trees and shit, and like tree trunks and, and grass, and like a sky beneath the surface, which is just wow. What the fuck is that over there? What is that? Now it seems like we have reached actual civilization and there's a nice sign which is just floating around and I cannot really decipher it. But hey, doesn't matter. We can talk, right? So we can just ask people or not because we are underground and cannot talk to people. And we can actually, is that the end of the map? What the fuck? <laughs> So welcome everybody to Space Simulator. This is just an awesome game which lets you just travel to Uranus, for example. Uranus is a nice place. I only heard good things about Uranus. I mean, they, they say it's pretty wet in Uranus, but I think it's a nice place. I've been there many times. You know, I enjoyed my stays there and I was very well welcomed every time I was there. Now this has been it for Space Simulator 2014. We have seen many awesome things in this game, such as a towing truck helping a truck out that was inside another truck that we saw standing next to our truck, which we ran the music sets in, and the, the universe just saw, sh what? It's raining in space. That's all I have to say.